So in today's video guys, I'm going to show you a few additional steps to get more FPS here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 on a low-end PC. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. I'm giving away free Catwoman pickaxes, so therefore make sure to comment down below why you want to win. I'm always DMing random winners on my Discord guys, so therefore make sure that you join on the Discord. And now let's get straight into this topic. And in the first place guys, we're now going to disable a bunch of useless processes here on our Windows PC. And all you guys can do is go into your Windows search bar and type in notifications until you can find notifications and action settings, open it up in there now we can already see here quick notifications and you can turn it off completely at everything guys we have stuff here like show notifications on the lock screen allow notifications to play sounds and all that stuff which we of course don't want guys and the more processes you basically disable on your pc the faster it's going to run and perform better while gaming so therefore go here onto it and make sure that all of them are turned off and as well here all the additional ones which you don't need of course guys yeah maybe you need something like discord then you can of course like manually check everything and make sure that everything besides discord or whatever you need maybe like face it is kind of on you know just in case if you need it but if so please make sure to disable everything which you can then next up we have focus assistant guys which we of course also don't want yeah because this one basically shows us only that we're like in game mode or some stuff like that which we of course also don't want useless notifications which you don't need usually while running your pc so therefore make sure everything is fully disabled here guys then next up, we're also going to go here now into tablet mode, which for me is already disabled here by stock. And we also have something like multitasking. And in there, guys, I would actually disable timeline. Show suggestions in your timeline. We don't need that. Turn it off completely. Then we also have something like projecting to this PC, which is already for me fully disabled. We can basically use like a remote control on your PC. Don't need that as well. And chat experience, I would also completely turn off, guys. Yeah. And once we're done with that here, we're also going to go real quick here to clipboard. Then we basically only have like some reminders, which we can turn off as well completely and clear everything here when it comes down to the data and then we're already done here with this first step guys then you're gonna close this and now let's continue with the next one i'm going to show you how we can basically disable a real-time protection service which is only focused around cloud-based data which we don't need to utilize if we already have a smart scan on our pc or an antivirus in general guys because that one takes a lot of system performance let me showcase you exactly what i mean guys in the first place we're gonna go into a windows search bar and just simply type in virus and threat protection and once we're in here you can already see here that for me it's actually disabled because i'm gonna go here now into manage settings and you can see cloud delivered protection provides increased and fast protection with access to latest protection and data in cloud and i gotta say if you have the real-time protection you don't really need any of the other ones or even personally if you utilize a pretty good antivirus on your pc you can fully disable it because all these here are super hardware demanding and always running in the background. This is just a tip from me. You gotta know it for yourself, guys. You know, be careful when you're in the internet, I guess. This is like the only thing which you really want because it locates and stops malware from installing and running on your PC, which basically covers anything you could get even like from like Google or some stuff like that. You know what I mean? So therefore cloud delivered protection, you don't really need it. You can of course keep it on guys. Of course, there's just like an extra tip guys. Me personally, I have it always fully disabled because it's super hardware demanding. And then guys, in this next step, you're gonna join my Discord from where you can go here under FPS boost packs, which you can by the way find here just simply on the top, type in FPS, and then you can find this channel, the low end PC FPS increase pack 2022, which you're going to download straight up from here. And once you got it here on your PC, you're going to extract it all onto your desktop and open it up guys. And in the first place, we have no power plan where we're going to click on the registry tweak power plan then afterwards, once we enabled it, we're gonna go into power options and you should see that the high performance mode should be enabled here. I know you could also go theoretically for something like Bitsum or any other one, but on a real low end PC, I really wouldn't push it higher than high performance. I'm not gonna lie there guys. So therefore make sure that this one is enabled. That's gonna be enough hundred percent. Then we're gonna go back here and then we have comment tweaks. This one is going to disable useless activities on your PC and also basically make sure to turn off a bunch of processes in the background, which you don't need while gaming. So therefore just some let both of them run here real quick on your pc then we're gonna go to gaming optimization tweaks and then we now have some stuff like driver searching file history maintenance power throttling which are all getting disabled super important stuff basically you should always apply after each and every single windows update which i also do on my pc you know so giving us additional low latency modes here for our keyboard and mouse guys like the highest data queue size so therefore make sure those are applied super super easy and then we also have a config file here which we're going to drag onto our desktop this one is fully optimized for the highest amount of fps and we also have a pretty good stretch rest here already applied which would be 1024 times 768 which is kind of the sweet spot when it comes down to low end resolutions and all you guys get to do is go here actually enter this window you know on the top bar type in presenter temp presenter open it up go into local press f on your keyboard for fortnite saved 
config Windows client and there you can delete your current game user settings and replace them with the new ones and you're already good to go guys. And now you just simply have to reset your PC and you're gonna have a lot better performance. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite guys, I open up no ping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay of my keyboard. And in addition to that guys, no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you wanna play. As an example, if you're gonna search here for Fortnite guys, we can click onto it and it's gonna show case me the best server in my near which would for me now be here london 02 and you can see on london 02 i get only 23 milliseconds delay whether on frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where i would get 26 milliseconds so therefore this already helped me to get three milliseconds less ping guys and then we're only going to click on to optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys just simply let no ping run in the background you can boost your fps reduce your input delay and get less ping and by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20% off as well as the seven days trial guys and you can pay super easy we are paypal so therefore this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace